Hello everybody, praise the name of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. God is faithful, God is good. He's a, he's a promise keeper, that's one thing that I know. And today I just want to encourage you uh, that whatever God has promised in his word to you, whether it was uh, through a word of prophecy, whether it was through somebody but the Lord spoke it to you. I want you to know that he will indeed fulfill. Amen. Uh, this morning, I just wanted to uh, read a portion of scripture that we are very familiar with. And most uh, recently was turned into a song that uh, we sing even in our church every Sunday uh, before we leave. It's a song of the blessing. Uh, and uh, it comes out of the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. That's where uh, this uh, verse comes out of. It says, uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance toward you and give you peace. And uh, the way it starts here in verse 22 of the same chapter, that is chapter 6 of the book of numbers it says then the lord said to moses tell aaron and his sons this is how you are to bless the israelites said to them and then uh, you know that's the, uh, the the words of the blessing may the lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you may the lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace and uh you know uh God told Moses to tell Aaron, Aaron was the priest, and uh, you and I today are priests. Uh, the scripture says in the book of uh, P uh, First Peter, I believe, that you are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation, and uh, God has called us to be priests unto him, a uh, priests unto his people too, uh, to be the mediators, the ones who are uh, who bring the blessing, but also uh, bring people in uh, to, to the house of God, to the presence of God, who usher them into the things of God, who teach the word of God. And I say, how does that apply to me? That you are a priest unto your family. Did you know that? You are, before the pastor comes in, you have the ability, the power to minister unto your family as a father, as a mother, as an auntie, as an uncle, you have a supernatural uh, authority to declare the blessing of God over the people God has entrusted in your care. Amen. And uh, also you do have authority to speak life, to speak the peace of God, to speak the blessing of God upon your life. Amen. Upon your life because you are a priest. Amen. Uh, if you are able to speak the blessing into other people you can speak the blessing of god upon yourself amen so as uh, the priest does that or as they did it in the old testament we know we still do it as the pastor you you bless the people you know you speak good over them but uh also you today child of god you can speak the favor of god you can uh, uh, like i said yesterday you can, god knows his word but every time we bring it back to him, amen, every, every time we bring back his word to him, we are acknowledging his power, his authority. We are acknowledging his lordship over us and we're saying, God, you say this in your word. You say this in your word, God. Fulfill your word according to your promise. And the scripture says that God is not a son of man to lie, nor to regret his word. He won't say, oh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot about that all. Oh, I did that for the people back then. I can do it for you. The scripture told us uh, in the book of Acts that uh, God is not a God of favorism. He doesn't show favorism to one and then uh, to the other. He doesn't. You know, what he has done for others, he can do for you and for me. And so another thing I wanted to bring to your attention that it is the will of God to bless you. Amen. It is the will of God for us to be blessed as his children. God wants us to be blessed. God wants us to be filled with his spirit. God wants us to be protected. Amen. And that's why we see here God giving instructions to Moses to tell 
Aaron, who was the priest, who was the intercessor, who was bringing the sacrifices of the people, uh, you know, tell him to uh, to speak to the people. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you. That is the will of God that we are under His protection. The Scripture says in the Book of Psalms that He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God does not want us to go out by our own, by ourselves. He wants to cover us. Amen. He wants to cover us. He wants to be gracious to us. He wants his face to be uh, over us, to shine over us. And most importantly, he wants to give us peace. Amen. So today you can receive this peace but you can also speak this peace. You can speak this peace into your home. Maybe you're going through some uh, rough times, uh, some misunderstandings, some chaos going on. You can speak peace. Lord, I speak peace in this house. I speak peace in the heart of my troubled teen. Lord, I speak peace in this chaotic work environment. And I'm telling you, when you do that, the peace of God is going to reign. Amen. Because it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Let us go into prayer in the presence of God. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory because you are a good God and there is none like you. We come before you today. We commit this day, Tuesday, in your hands. Father, we pray and we speak the blessing of God upon your children, upon all these your people listening to this uh, broadcast today. Lord, uh, you told us yesterday in your word that you will bless us in the city. You will bless us in the country. You will bless us when we come in. You will bless us when we go out. So, Lord, I pray a blessing upon everyone who is listening today for a blessing of God over them blessing of good health blessing of provision blessing of open doors blessings of increase blessings of a multiplication blessings of growth blessings of promotion god i speak it upon these your children in the name of jesus that none of them will lack any good thing father we speak against every curse every bad word every bad omen every plan of the enemy for them to fail every word spoken against them that they should fail that they would uh, they would lack they would be uh failures and they would just move from place to place and not produce anything today i break that curse i break those curses we break those bad words we render them powerless right now in the name of Jesus, we speak the blessing of God, the blessing of God that addeth no sorrow, the blessing of God that maketh rich. Lord, we speak it to be sustained in their life, O oh God, as they go in, as they go out. Let people give unto them. Let people bring currencies, foreign currencies, in the name of Jesus, food, clothing, every good thing that they desire, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. For when we pray everything we ask in your name, we receive it by faith in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. We bless your name for today. Uh, Lord, we just declare goodness, mercy to be with us all the days of our lives, oh God, until we meet tomorrow, God. May we be kept in your peace, in your love, in your care, in your presence, God. Let the sweet presence of God be with us every step of the way today and for the rest of the week in jesus mighty name and all god's people said amen hallelujah praise the name of the lord we thank god for his presence for his word for just speaking to us and just showing us the way to go and that today don't forget to bless your kids touch them and say i bless you my son i bless you my daughter as i go when you go into your business say, i bless this business customers are going to come in this place money is going to be exchanged goods are going to move out of the shelves in the name of jesus things are going to happen today 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 speak it as if it was amen that is faith uh, so I want to thank God so much. Thank you for tuning in. Go out and be strong. Go out and conquer. Go out and possess the land because God has given it unto you. May the good Lord bless you, keep you, and may his face shine over you, and may he give you peace. This is Pastor Andrew from the Greater River Church. I'll see you tomorrow, same place, same time.